welcome back to the Tarot Cottage. My name is Amy and I'm back again today with a pick a card reading for you. If you're one of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support, for your friendship. Thank you for your support of each other in the comment section. You guys are incredible, like absolutely 100% incredible. If you're finding yourself here for the very first time, welcome. Grab some snacks, pull up a chair, a drink, have a cup of tea, and we'll have a bit of a chat because we're all friends here at my table. I do pick a card readings here. I do messages for soulmates and separation. So please join us. Um, today's pick a card reading, we're looking at the person on your mind and what was left unsaid between you. So this could be a no contact situation, um, you know, completely, but what was left unsaid? What did this person leave unsaid between you? We have three piles to choose from. Pile number one with the moss agate and the red flower and the purple deck, <laughs> pile number two, with the Tremulated Quartz, which is very pretty, and the pink flower, and pile number three, with this blue aragonite, and the yellow flower. So whichever pile or piles are calling out to you, there may be a message waiting from your person today. I'm going to jump right into pile number one. Again, today's topic is, what was left unsaid between you and your person, pile one. Hello everybody in pile number one, all of you who are drawn to this moss agite stone or the red flower, this is your reading. Um, what was left unsaid between you and your person? What do they wish that they could have said to you before this no contact situation really, you know, came into, be, came into being? What was left unsaid? So we have the Two of Wands. So you could be dealing with the Leo Aries Sagittarius. The Knight of Wands. Wow, yeah. Very fiery. We have the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like what was left unsaid between um, this person really start, wants to start out by saying was that there was a lot of curiosity here that never really got tapped into. Um, there was a lot of potential here that they never really got a chance to explore. And now there could be a situation where they see you kind of partnered up with somebody else. Um, but there's like, I see, I could have, I didn't see it at the time because I was too Im immature then. But I see now that that I missed out on a big opportunity here. And I want you to know that I have grown up and that I have matured. Left on set, please. I didn't, I was too ill-equipped and young to realize, that's the Four of Wands, that this connection existed in the depth that it existed. I was too busy messing around is what they're saying. I was too busy. Maybe my attention was elsewhere. It wasn't focused enough on you. I didn't do enough to show you how much I cared about you. Um, I was too just kind of focused on friends and maybe there was a third party for some of you here. It's like I, my attention was not 100% on you and that was the, that was a really big mistake. I'm really thirsty now. <laughs> I'm thirsty now when I think about you. Seven of Cups. I get confused um, by this connection now because I, I don't know where you stand. On the back of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Sorry, the Eight of Pentacles and the Hanged Man here. I try to focus on my responsibilities now is what they're trying they wish that they could say hmm I'm gonna get some clarity here what was left unsaid please spirit the devil could be dealing with a Capricorn as well. Lovers. There's a real sense of I made the wrong choice as well here. We have three major arcana on the top and we have a major arcana on the bottom of the deck, Temperance. It's like they really, something that was left unsaid was that, you know, I'm... I made a really bad choice 
and I am now kind of feeling stuck. There could be somebody here who feels like they're stuck in a marriage as well. Take that as it resonates. Always understand that my readings are the, for the collective and there's many people um, tuning in. So it's, it's picking up on a lot of different situations and scenarios. And when I see them, I have to mention them. So take it as it resonates. If it doesn't, if every message isn't for you, then um, just take yours as they do resonate. But there is this sense of, you know, I made the wrong choice here, but there is a lot of attraction and I wish I'd let you know that. I wish I'd let you know that I felt the connection as intensely as I felt it, but I thought that I had way more time. I wasn't in a hurry because I thought that I had way more time and I didn't realize I was running out of time. And now that's kind of haunts me and now that makes me feel so stuck because now my confusion is really set in because it threw me for a loop. I wasn't expecting to feel as intensely as I did and then I did. And now I have a choice to make. I, and I have, there could be a choice between two people here. I could be um, stuck in a third party situation, but I desperately want to return to you because I sense that this could be a soulmate relationship. I sense that this is something that could make me extremely emotionally happy. We have the nine of cups at the back of the deck. What was left unsaid is that you are, you are actually the person I want to be with forever. You are my dream come true. You are the ultimate. So I'm going to take a peek here, page of swords, and I am watching you. <laughs> Yeah, and when I see you, it makes me, like we have the sun as well, it makes me so happy. It makes me so happy when I think about you, when I think about a future with you. That's what makes me really, really happy. And in the future position, we do have that six of cups underneath the hanged man. There could be um, a sudden change here. This person could return to you in the future um, after a period of really reflecting on what they want. I do feel like this person could be currently in school for some of you as well. We have the hanged man and the hanged man. There are practical concerns that are keeping this person hung up. A third party doesn't have to necessarily be a, a person. It can be school, family, cultural differences, anything like that that keeps them from, from contacting you or from wanting to move forward. But in this case, for some of you, it could definitely be a person. <laughs> Let's get some messages. What was left unsaid please that this was the true love of, of a lifetime that this is the romance of a lifetime and that i really i really messed things up here <laughs> it took me a while to mature i just feel like this person took a long time to grow up you deserve love you are lovable and i didn't give that to you in the past i was i was too flaky it's like this sense of like they're they had like a wandering eye we have let go of control issues, allow this situation to unfold naturally. I didn't, I thought I had more time. And now I have, I have no control. I have absolutely no control over the situation. We have breathe. When I think about the finish line, I think about you. Um, and when I'm alone with my thoughts, it always comes back to you. It is a call as well for those of you watching to kind of sink into yourself and to clearly decide what you want out of this connection as well. And asking yourself why. You have the why. And this person asks themselves why they did the things that they did all the time. It's like they look at the stuff that they did in the past and they're like, why did I do that? What was I thinking? At the time, it felt... It felt normal or right and and now i'm just like why did i do that what was left on? oh we have the victim card coming out there was a time in the past where this person could have kind of acted kind of narcissistic or acted like a victim um there was a lot of potential here but again it's this sense of, of victim mentality like i thought i had more time i was really immature I was young, I was immature, I thought I had more time, there was a lot of potential here, and now I feel like I missed out, and now I feel like the victim here. It's kind of, that hanged man energy kind of wraps up well with that, because it's like surrender to a situation, even though action is really what's required. <laughs> so they're just like, I'm surrendering to it, but it should be action. 
enlightenment and we see the child here it's like I've grown up now I realize what I did and I I'm kicking myself we have insecurity at the back of the deck and we had that devil card as well so Capricorn energy strong but um, just this insecurity inside like realizing their past behaviors creates such an insecurity inside of them Look at the bigger picture of full moon in Sagittarius. This person is trying to see things clearly now. They acknowledge that the past may be kind of skewed with um, rose-colored thoughts. And it's time to take action, new moon in Aries. And it's coming up right over top of your Six of Cups. So for some of you, this person has the intention of coming back into your life and reaching out to you. We have balance, spirituality, and practicality on the back of the deck. Let's get some messages from this person. What would they say to you right now if they could, if they had no filters? The only thing that makes me happy is you. What was left unsaid, please? Got one on the floor. My nights are long and filled with you. And I can't decide what to do. <laughs> Let's grab your floor card. Oh, my goodness. Even in a crowded room, I'm lonely for you. I am trying to choose. And there is this, this sense of choice here. You are the only thing that I lie about. Oof. There's some secrecy here. There's some hidden agendas. It took some time, but I see clearly now. And that's what I keep saying about this person kind of ascending, growing up into their energy. We have two stuck together. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> Again, that victim mentality here. Sleepless nights. Truce. On the back of the deck is I'm scared. Let's get a charm bowl for you, group one. Charm bowl for group one. What was left unsaid? Oh. We have the two of cups. We have the lovers. And we have the Emperor. Wow. So what really was left unsaid is the fact that I made the wrong choice here, perhaps in the past, but also that I wasn't showing my true nature. The Emperor really guards himself, guards his feelings, puts on that armor to protect themselves and really focuses on business and what needs to get done. And they're saying that they have ascended. They have grown up. They're not the little child that they were that made all of those stupid decisions in the past. And they acknowledge the twin flame type of soulmate energy here that exists. We have Scorpio in the bowl. We have live your dream. We have the triangle with the eyes. So I don't know if there's like a spiritual, if there's a third party triangle situation here. Also about spirituality and somebody who could be very um, gifted as far as um, um, like gifted spiritually. We have going with the flow. We have an S in the bowl. We have the baby shark. So I don't know if there are children in connection with this. Um, in connection with the this connection <laughs> or if it's just a really a message could be a message about taking a bite out of opportunities and not and being aggressive when called to be um, we have I think that's Jesus in the bowl as well so that could be um, I put the sacred heart of Jesus so you could be a Catholic or it could you know have some sort of Christian reference we also have the wing looking at things from a higher perspective and we have the um, Apple, so you could have gone to school with this person along with this Eight of Pentacles here as well. Okay, group number one, that is what I have for you. What was left unsaid between you and your person? If this resonated, I would love for you to um, leave me a comment in the comment section. Please subscribe to the channel if you feel called to. Uh, you can check me out on Instagram. You can check me out on Etsy and book me for a personal reading. If you go to my Etsy page and it is empty, it just means I've booked for that day. I do book on a daily basis, but I will refresh the page at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on weekdays. So keep checking back for your chance to book a reading. Um, I really hope that you come back and visit me on another day at the Tarot Cottage, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. 
Hello everybody in group number two, all of you who are drawn to the round deck or this pink flower or to the terminated quartz. This is your reading, the person on your mind, what was left unsaid. So I'm using the mother piece round tarot for you. I don't use it very often, but it was calling out to me today. Pick me, pick me. So <laughs> what was left unsaid between you and your person? So we have the five of wands. So there's a lot of jealousy perhaps here, some concerns about um, third parties, or there's just a lot of competition concerns. It's like obstacles that I need to push through other people to get to you. What was left unsaid? I am still jealous of you over you is what they're trying to say. The ace of swords. This, this deck is from like, I think the seventies. <laughs> it's a, a Wait, I think it says right here, 1981, sorry, 81. So it took me some time to kind of clarify in my mind what I really wanted out of this connection is what they're saying. And I, you know, the Hierophant here represents ascension, represents growth. And I feel like this person really is acknowledging that they've grown up. Maybe in the past they exhibited a lot of jealous type behaviors and it's something that really force the two of you apart and they're acknowledging that 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 they've ascended that they've grown up we have the six of cups already at the back of the deck and it really talks about you know somebody from your past returning and somebody who has a really deep affection for you so they want to let you know that this time apart has not lessened their affection for you but it has allowed them to see things a lot more clearly and what they've seen clearly is that they they made some mistakes, some poor judgments in the past, and they would like to have an opportunity to kind of address those with you. We have justice coming out fully reversed, and we also have um, the queen of swords. I just want to show you guys. I know it's kind of hard to see this lighting. The sun doesn't know if it wants to shine or not. It's beautiful hand-drawn imagery. What is it left unsaid, please? What's left unsaid? of the temperance card I, they're acknowledging that it took them a long time to kind of grow <laughs> they're acknowledging that like um that their growth was maybe a little bit slower than you would have liked <laughs> but over here we have in the back of the deck energy we do have the five of pentacles it is reversed um and I'm taking them the reversals in this deck as they come only because it's very difficult to keep this in the upright position because of the roundness of the deck. But the five of pentacles reversed really talks about coming out of a feeling of poverty, having some new hope restored. And I do feel like it's because of the growth that's happened in your person since you guys have disconnected. And what was left unsaid is that, you know, they felt the injustice of not being with you. They felt the injustice of, um, here with the justice reversed and the five of wands, it's like, I felt, I felt like I was being placed last and I felt like that felt wrong and I handled it very poorly, perhaps. It just felt unfair to me at the time, um, but it's taking me some time to clarify myself and to really, you know, step into my leadership and to be kind of able to be honest with myself. And it's taken a lot of patience, it's taken a lot of time, but but I feel like I've gotten there. We have the five of, uh, or sorry, the six of cups on the back of this deck as well. So let's clarify this. What was left unsaid here, please? What was left unsaid? Ten of Wands. The fact is, is that I, I had these feelings for you that were so intense and they I, they blinded me. They blinded me to my behavior at times. They blinded me to where I was even going. And I wanted to put them down. It became a burden, but I didn't know how to do that. I still feel blinded sometimes. And I'm trying desperately to see things clearly. It could be an air sign. I did see the sun as well. Queen of Wands. So there could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. I worry about how you'll receive me in the future. If I come forward and ask for a new start. Part of me thinks that you'll be really happy to see me and happy to hear from me. And part of me worries that you'll just, you know, shut the door in my face. Pentacles. 
I am a practical person who has practical concerns about my security. All I ever wanted was to feel secure in your company, secure in this connection is what they wanted to say. All I ever wanted was that security, that assurance that, you know, that there was something here between us that was bigger than other people, that was bigger than anything else that was going on. And that's what really causes this hesitation in me. But I want to come forward. I'm trying to decide what to do, but I am really concerned with the tower energy here. You have the Empress. You also have the Three of Pentacles. So there could be a concern because you are building a foundation with someone else and there could be children involved. There's a real practical concern here for some of you. For others, it's just a concern about how they're going to be received as far as the energy. Like, will, will their hopes be shattered? Will they come with all of these beautiful expectations of love and new beginnings? And will their hopes be shattered? Those are secret concerns that they have. With the Empress, I, you know, that is a concern that there could be kids involved or, you know, with the Three of Pentacles right with it. Concern that there could be a third party or some sort of foundation that you've built up or began to build up. But this person really wants to let you know that they have grown up. And that in the past, the reason they acted the way that they did was because they were so jealous because all they wanted was to be secure in their feelings for you and with you. From this person, what was left on the side? Finances and career are a factor. I've grown up. I've ascended. I've there was could have been a time where this person really. Um, put on airs, we have the six of wands here, put on airs and really um, acted like a big shot, even though they really didn't have much. But I feel like they've been working on that. They've ascended. Um, they're working on their coin. We have give your relationship a chance. And that was one of the things that was left unsaid was that they really wish that they could have done that with you. And they really kind of are hoping that that will be kind of an option in the future because on the back of the deck, we have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. of service uh, there's a, a sense here with your person that they feel like they were like in a long line of people um, who were there to kind of cater to you <laughs> for some of you take it as it resonates but they feel like they were in this long line of people who uh, kind of it's like they lined up we were very popular perhaps we have recovery at hmm. spirit is letting you know some of you watching that you are the key to your own recovery if this pain, if this situation has been painful for you, but this person is also acknowledging that they were the key to their own, like they're acknowledging that all of these feelings um, of jealousy from the past, all these feelings of feeling burdened, they're acknowledging that it, it, it actually had nothing to do with you it was their own insecurities that caused those feelings and that they were the key to their own recovery. They were, the, are the key to their own happiness. Um, and we have the trickery at the back of the deck with that acorn. It's green. It's like they realized that they were trying to plant the seeds in the wrong conditions. And it took them a while. It took them some time to ascend. Um, it took patience. And they do want ascension with you as well, though I should mention that. And they are hoping that in time that could come to, that could come to pass. We have TikTok. There is, again, call for patience with the temperance card here. There is concerns, though, that time is running out. They're worried that they ha are running out of time. And that this ship will sail before they get the chance to really reveal themselves. We have go the distance. <laughs> because they see a finish line here. I feel like they are really concerned about practical issues as well. Again, there could be somebody who is actually stuck in a marriage with that Hierophant with the Empress card here and with the Temperance card. It's like there's practical concerns that need to kind of be addressed. Take that as it resonates, but for some of you, the Imagine is at the back of the deck, really reminding us that we are all manifestors in our own world, in our own life. What was left unsaid, please? Embrace the in-between, the Flamingo spirit. 
And that's a beautiful message about the here and now and about how this is sort of at an impasse. You're at a benchmark right now. You're in between worlds. You're in and out of, you're not in contact, but there's desire there. So it's sort of this energetic push and pull right now. So spirit is really acknowledging for you to embrace that time. Put it to good use is what they're saying. Use it to manifest good energy for yourself. Self-care, getting grounded with nature. Parrot spirit, watch your words because the first person that hears the words that come out of your mouth are you. <laughs> watch your words about yourself. Don't speak untruths about yourself. We have a new romantic cycle begins. This person is really hoping that there'll be a new beginning here. That balance will be restored after a time of patience. That you guys have both exercised. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Lots of hope here. Let's get some messages from this person. If they could say anything. If they could say anything right now. What would they say? Oops, lots coming out. I want adventure with you. I'm coming. Do you ever think about us? I want to start fresh. <laughs> the attraction is more than physical. I want to start over. So lots of, lots of um, desire to kind of start over. I can see I'm watching. Woo. But I'm scared. The tower energy really shows that fear of coming towards you. Um, there could be a fear of like a fallout or like a permanent change that can't be taken back. Nothing brings me peace. Mm. You and this connection confuse me. And we have this one. Addictions come in many forms and you are mine. Okay, let's see. to please what was left what was left so we have the eight of cups acknowledging somebody walking away we have the eight of pentacles and the four of swords so this person is really acknowledging that the disconnect acknowledging um, that they never stopped you from walking away and that's a huge regret I didn't do anything when I watched you walk away there are so many things left unsaid and now the years have kind of for some of you the years have kind of lined up um, they've really focused on their work perhaps there's a huge distance between you as well because we have the airplane here in the bowl we have the star we have the moon we have fish in the bowl as well with um, lots of water energy with the fish with the seashell and with the curled shell I think of the empress when the, I see a flat shell I think of the high priestess which holds secrets when I see the curled one we have water energy hmm there could be um a mother I feel like there could be children involved in this situation because we do have our lady as well Mary in the bowl the sacred heart and we have a commandment from the Bible that says thou shalt not commit adultery. So there is definitely, you know, with the Hierophant, with the Temperance card, a call for patience because there could be a huge fallout that somebody really needs to take it advantage, you know, they need to take into consideration some practical concerns because there are some real fear of things crumbling apart. Hmm. All right, group number two, that is what I have for you. What was left unsaid between you and the person on your mind? If this resonated, I would love to hear about it in the comment section. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and join our family that we are growing here. Um, please hit the like button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on videos that I post. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Etsy for personal readings. And if you go to my personal readings page and it is empty, it just means I've booked for that day. But I will refresh by the end of day so you can keep checking back um, because I do refresh every weekday. I hope that you come back and visit me on another day at the Tarot Cottage and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye guys. Hello everybody in group number three. You were drawn to this beautiful blue aragonite.
oregonite <laughs> or this little flower and this is your reading that's huge isn't it <laughs> the person on your mind what was left unsaid between you what was left unsaid what do they want to say mother of cups so automatically they want to tell you that um, the love that they had for you has never gone anywhere you can see her she's protecting her cup with her wing nothing's falling in nothing's falling out um, they've been guarding it very protective father of cups the king of cups the mother of cups divine masculine and the divine feminine but acknowledging the fact that they perhaps turn their back on you when they should not have um, they emotionally turn their back on you but they would like to acknowledge that they would like to open up the lines of communication with the ace of Pentacles they did not reach out to you when they should have there's a, a lot of aloofness here I'm just getting this sense of just turning my back on what means the most to me what was left unsaid please I didn't share with you the depth of my feeling. I didn't share with you how cutely I loved you. I acted like I didn't care, even though I cared a great, great deal. And I watched you walk away. And it took away my, my happiness. And the truth was, was that you are everything to me, that you are this dream come true. And all I want is to try again. All I want is a new chance. But the path seems so rocky and steep and filled with, you know, I can't see a clear way towards you. And I feel like I've been on this mission forever and it's just getting exhausting. And I don't know if I have the stamina to get myself through but I'm, I do want to expand this connection with the two of wands at the back of the deck. This person with the nine of cups really is acknowledging that you are a dream come true. And with the mother of cups and the king of cups here, the, the, you know, it's like the two of cups together. <laughs> but you can see it's in separation. And people are not acknowledging it. There's no real reflection of truth here. And there's an an, an an acknowledgement of the fact that feelings weren't shared. The depths of the feeling here were not shared before the disconnect happened. But it was like it took the disconnect to kind of acknowledge that there was maybe a soulmate connection here. Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. I want to reach out to you. I should have spoke up. I'm going to clarify that. Let's clarify that page of pentacles. What was left unsaid, please? The judge. Oh, we have two. The five of swords and the judgment card. What was left unsaid, please? The three of cups reversed. The lovers. Wow. We have the hermit on the back of the deck with the high priestess. So what they really want to acknowledge, we have Virgo energy at the back of the deck here. What they would like to acknowledge is the fact that they have been holding out this flame for you for a long time. I've been holding the hope here in my heart. It's been very lonely, but it's taken me this time of disconnect to realize my mistakes. And we have the three of pentacles and the three of cups reversed in the pat in the reverse position in the right in the center of your reading here, which is a really strong indicator that there was a loss of friendship here. It wasn't just the loss of a relationship potentially, but it was like, I lost my best friend too. There was a lot, like I lost so much. And it could be that there was a third party involvement here as well, because we have the lovers with the three of cups reversed and we have the five of swords. It's like there was a conflict. There was an argument. There was um, dishonesty here. Somebody stepped into a 
a situation where they tried to build up a foundation with someone else, perhaps take it as it resonates. But now in the future, this person saying, I want to make this choice better. I want to choose you. I want to come towards you, but I am anxious about that. I really want this new beginning, but I'm worried about this conflict from the past. I'm worried we can't get past it. I'm worried that um, I'm wasting my energy. Let me use my little mini everyday witch tarot. Thank you so much, Candy, for that. I love this little deck. I'm going to get a large one as well, which is so cute. I want to open up the lines of communication. I want to be generous with you. I feel like I've been left in the dark and you would, I just want to, I want to talk with you. With the 10 of cups. And the queen of swords so there is this essence with the chariot on the back of the deck it's like this essence of decision i've got a decision to make and there could be a family situation here with the three of pentacles and the ten of cups a family sort of unit or situation that needs to be taken into consideration take it as it resonates let's get some oracle cards Just left unsaid. Just left unsaid, please. You have chaos and conflict. So this chaos and conflict could exist in the past. Um, with that five of swords, it's like things happened in the past. Um, there was a lot of change. It happened very quickly. It could have been third party situations. We have this card is 33. <laughs> it's like everything got all muddled up so fast. We have happy, happy, but there is potential here. This person does want a new beginning with the happy, happy card. They're holding out hope for a new start. Rainbow after a storm. This, she's sitting on this egg, which is filled with potential. Um, they're just saying that when they think about the future, they're like approaching you with trepidation. They're approaching you with a little bit of, of um, anxiety <laughs> when they're making that decision, but you are the dream come true here. You're the dream come true. We have all that glitters. It's about masks being worn. People concerned about what other people are thinking constantly. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And we have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. <coughs> Excuse me. Retreat was at the back of that deck, though. I feel like mentioning. Obviously in disconnect. What would this person say? Sorry, the light has all, all of a sudden shifted. The sun doesn't know what it wants to do today. What was left unsaid here, please, Spirit? They wanted to tell you that they've gained a lot of insight over this disconnect, and now they are more clear-minded about it. They're acknowledging that they've lost a lot. They've not only lost you, but they've lost your friendship, and that really bothers them on a deep level and they're really hoping that you'll forgive them for the mistakes that they made in the past is what they want to tell you right now the rhino spirit charges through obstacles and they're really hoping that you'll do that and i just i almost just got this image of like someone saying you wouldn't hit somebody with glasses would you i don't know if that's going to resonate with anybody but that's what i just we have facade on the back of the deck Somebody is wearing masks again with the all that glitters is gold mask coming out for you. What was left unsaid here, please? A personal issue reaches a resolution. They want to let you know that they're coming. They want to clear the air. They want to at least have closure with you. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. And on the back of the deck, we have expect powerful change. And I would expect that powerful change because this person's coming in to talk with you. <laughs> Let's get some messages from this person. If they could say anything to you, what would it be? I keep coming out. Whoops, too many spirit. All right, we've got a bunch here. Let's see what we have. Somehow I am going to make this happen. Somehow, some way. But I am secretly terrified. 
this just doesn't feel right. It's over, isn't it? Oh, it's like that Ten of Swords energy. It's like I worry so much that it's just, it's done. It's too hard. I don't know if I can do it. I need a break from this. <laughs> I feel like it's relentless for your person. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. So a real concern here too with how you're going to receive, <laughs> how you're going to receive them if they come back. I'm scared. I want to take a risk with you. Let's get a charm bowl for you. Charm bowl three, what was left unsaid, please, spirit. The eight of swords. The eight of pentacles. And the three of wands. It's like something is really holding me back here. Something is really, really holding me back, but it's myself. It's like a self-imposed imprisonment, and I'm just throwing myself into work. I'm throwing myself into my responsibilities to distract myself from the fact that what I really want is expansion. We have a bee in the bowl. Sorry, the, all of a sudden the lighting is so poor. We have the balance rune. We have Leo in the bowl. We have the love and it's being built up on a foundation. So this person could really be building a foundation with someone else, or maybe you are, or they just want to build up that foundation with you. We have a bird in the bowl. We also have a wing looking at things from a higher perspective. Um, we also have the moon with the little star imagery. That's really about hiding your truth, hiding the fact that you're holding out hope for this connection, even though your responsibilities may lie elsewhere, may lie elsewhere. <laughs> we have the marble that makes me think about Japan. I'm going to bring that closer to you guys so you can really see it. Sorry about the lighting. My goodness, I'll have to adjust my, my curtains and my lighting on my camera. Whoops. Okay, group number three. That is what I have for you today. What was left unsaid between you and the person on your mind? If this resonated, I would love for you to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Hit the like button if you feel called to. Um, I am on Etsy offering personal readings and if you go to my listings page and it is empty, it just means that I have booked for the day. Um, so you can check back at the end of the day or in the afternoon. Sometimes I release around 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, but I will be updating it every weekday. So you can always come back and check me out if you miss your chance to nab a reading. Um, you can find me on Instagram as well. If you're interested in any of the gems you saw today, you can find the link on where I found some of them below. Um, Earth Family Crystals. They are a wonderful company that ethically sources crystals and gems. So you can check them out too. Oh, it's a mouthful. <laughs> I hope that you come back and visit me on another day at the Tarot Cottage and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.